well, here's the thing. A few days ago, a five-year-old boy was killed by two Rottweilers. It was on Easter Day. Easter is like the biggest holiday here in Greece, which actually makes the tragedy even more tragic. The boy and his family were visiting a friend's house. That 70-year-old friend keeps eight, not one, not two, but eight Rottweilers in his garden. The boy was left unattended for a while and the next thing we know he was screaming and fighting for his life while two out of the eight Rottweilers were biting the life out of him. By the time he was taken to the hospital he was already gone. It was a tragedy and definitely an awesome blockbuster for the media that runs out of bestseller stories during Easter because it is that big of a holiday that nothing ever happens. No one watches the news and the main story most channels run is how the crisis has made poor people celebrate the greatest holiday of the year eating beans and bread instead of the traditional falling lump. Easter is when lumps and vegans cry their eyes out but this is a different story. Back to the point. The tragedy made it to the news, of course, and to every single website or blog that could possibly relate its material to such a best-selling story. It made it to every Greek person's living room, through the TV, the radio, the internet or small talk. The story was such a success that even my 87-year-old grandma knows more about Rottweilers now than I do. And the finding for 9 out of the 10 million Greek people is one. Dogs bite. Dogs kill. Dogs are dangerous. Blame the dogs. First of all, my dear illiterate 70-year-old friend, stop looking at me like I'm the one who murdered the little boy every time I walk my well-behaved, human-friendly, vaccinated, microchipped and registered, neutered, fully trained pet dogs. My dogs live in the apartment, sleep on my bed, like people, and they are as legal as a pet can be in this country where most of us grew up in villages where the dogs were treated like that. Or even worse. You swallow the blockbuster story from the TV and from channels run by people who are about your age. No offense, but this is why young people find comfort on the internet nowadays. Because the internet is part of the 21st century, unlike the TV news. So stop harassing me every time I walk my dogs on the park. It's really not my fault you can't tell the difference between a pack of eight Rottweilers and my rescued babies. Second of all, cars kill millions of people every day. But you don't go around blaming people for driving cars as if they are potential murderers every time you watch a horrific story about a car accident on the TV, now do you? You don't even blame the cars. You don't blame the airplanes every time there is a plane crash. You don't blame the boats every time there is a shipwreck. You don't blame men every time a crazy husband shoots his wife. And you do not blame women every time a deranged wife poisons her husband, his brother, their children and a visiting neighbor. Do you? No, you don't. You just blame the person responsible, the driver, the pilot, the captain, and the murderers. So why not blame the actual person responsible for the Easter tragedy? Blame the owner. He's the one who kept an unsocialized pack of eight dogs in his yard. He's the pilot who didn't check the engine or whatever it is pilots do before takeoff. The engine broke down and killed the boy. Neighbors say that the dogs had shown signs of aggressiveness in the past. Oh no, seriously, I'm amazed. The dogs that bit a person to death had been aggressive before. Wow, what did the neighbors do about it? Nothing. Nobody in Greece ever does anything because you don't mess with the neighbors, no matter what they do. A girl gets killed by her abusive boyfriend. The neighbors knew it and did nothing about it. A child is molested by his uncle. The neighbors had realized something weird was going on, but did nothing about it. A boy is killed by aggressive Rottweilers. The neighbors knew the dogs were dangerous, but did nothing about it. I'm guessing you, the old lady harassing me on the street while I walk my dogs, have a neighbor who does something wrong, but you do nothing about it. I'm guessing that if your neighbor had the Rottweilers in his yard, you would do nothing about it, would you? You would just get your five minutes of fame the day after the accident, explaining to some lame reporter how you knew that the dogs were dangerous. Congratulations. You're as much to blame as a stupid bastard who'd made all dogs look bad because he trained his to be killers. So instead of blaming me, a skinny 48 kilo unknown lady who walks her dogs like she does every day, blame yourself and your lack of knowledge. I'm not taking my dogs to the park in order to have them feed off your precious grandchildren. In fact, nobody does. And keep your filthy hands off the strays. Because every time a dog bites someone, the strays pay the price by being poisoned per dozens. If that's what you have in mind in order to keep your precious neighborhood safe, you're the one who is dangerous and need to be locked up in a kennel somewhere.